Pourquoi Please be seated. Bien. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. And the la parole est rendue aux avocats principaux pour les protestes civiles qui pourront continuer à interroger le témoin Steve Heder. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Yes, you, en fait, j'en ai well, presque terminé. Je vais done, in fact. reformuler ma dernière question. Je vais la simplement question. en deux. Et je vais juste le diviser en deux parties. Vous avez dit you donc said, qu'il y avait uh, un, that, un langage uh, there was a spécifique pendant la période de Kampuchea démocratique. The of Kampuchea. Est-ce que ce langage, And vous l'avez vu have you seen this language? et lu have you read this language dans des documents in émanant du centre, from the center, tels que des discours, in speeches, des des journaux, in des documents institutionnels. In Est-ce que vous l'avez trouvé dans ces documents Have écrits émanant du centre of this language, uh, in, in the uh, yes. Assurément, oui. Ma deuxième question est la suivante. Question the Est-ce que ce vocabulaire particulier au Kampuchea démocratique was this sur les mêmes thèmes ou sur des thèmes différents des documents écrits, est-ce que vous l'avez également noté Is, dans les propos tenus par des cadres, cadres et des membres du parti Oui, j'ajouterai aussi que c'était le cas parmi la population ordinaire, tant pour les nouveaux que pour les vétérans. Je vous remercie parce que je pensais effectivement rajouter cette troisième question, mais vous y avez répondu. Merci beaucoup, M. Eder. Mon confrère Lord Chunti souhaiterait poser quelques questions, M. le Président. Mon confrère Lord Chunti souhaiterait poser quelques questions, M. le Président. Maître Lord Chunti. Bon après-midi, mesdames, messieurs les juges. Bon après-midi à tous, ainsi qu'à vous, monsieur Stephen Heder. Je m'appelle Lord Chunti. Je suis l'un des avocats des partis civils. I have only a few questions Je n'ai que quelques questions à vous poser à la suite de celle de la co-avocate principale. You are an intellectual and you have conducted a research on the Cambodian history since 1973. In fact, you came to Cambodia in 1969, if I am not mistaken. And today you are here to testify before this court. My first question to you is the following. Voici ma première question. Après le 17 avril 1975, une réunion a été organisée sous le camp Pucha démocratique. The Silver Pagoda. Were you aware of that meeting? Dans une pagode. Avez-vous été au courant de la tenue de cette réunion Réponse. Je ne suis pas certain d'avoir bien compris l'endroit dont vous parlez. Ah, c'était donc la pagode d'argent. Oui, j'en ai entendu parler. In my mind, whether I heard about it, as it were, independently of my work at the court, or only as a reader. No, I think I heard about it before. I think I heard about it before. My work at the court. Avant de travailler au tribunal. Yes, 
bạc chấm lấy nick nhau chọn chỉ miệt suốt tha cả phải chấm nốt cứ kiss chú if you heard about the meeting or knew about the meeting either through your research or by other means vous en avez parlé dans le cadre de vos recherches ou dans un autre cadre were you aware that a decision was made at that time regarding the implementation of the policies after the immediate liberation of the country by the Khmer Rouge was you aware of that policy and its implementation du pays étiez-vous au courant de cette politique et de son application Réponse. Je ne sais plus précisément si c'était la réunion de mai 75 ou de mai 75. Celle de mai, me semble-t-il, s'est tenue à l'ancien institut technique mero-soviétique. Si vous parlez de la réunion de la pagode d'argent, je pense que c'était plus tard dans l'année, au mois d'août ou de septembre. So I'm not quite sure which set of decisions I can associate it with, much less their implementation. À ces réunions, et cela vaut également pour la mise en œuvre de ces décisions à force. Question. Part of the policy is the prohibition of the market or the prohibition of the circulation of a currency. Have you come across such a policy through your research? During your research, have you been confronted to such a policy? Well, prohibition of markets began by, if not before 1973, and at least some places, according to my. Au moins par endroits, d'après mes souvenirs, l'abolition de la monnaie de la République Khmer, autrement dit, la fin de toute circulation d'argent, puisqu'il n'y avait pas de projet de remplacer cela par autre chose, ça aussi, ça a commencé en 1973 1974. Of policy decisions that had already been made with regard to the liberated zones, and which were confirmed as to be applied throughout the whole country. Question. Is there a question? You talked about a meeting. At the Soviet Technical Institute in May, can you shed light on the content of that meeting and who actually participated in that meeting? Et qui y a participé? Réponse. Again, if I recall correctly, this was a meeting to which lower cadre from below the center or the central level from throughout the country were invited. Maybe one of several such meetings, but including cadre from the zone sector and district level and various military units, which, again, if memory serves, was more a kind of policy dissemination meeting. La politique du parti. Il ne s'agissait pas à proprement parler d'une réunion à laquelle auraient été édictées des grandes décisions politiques. Question. After the conclusion of that meeting and for the sake of the implementation of the policy, what did they do? Qu'a-t-il été fait pour appliquer les politiques adoptées? I think this is part and parcel of the decision to at least continue for some time with the evacuations that have been affected already immediately from or immediately after, excuse me, 17 April. Again, to continue with the non-use of money 
continuer à ne pas employer l'argent, au moins provisoirement. Il s'agissait d'accélérer le processus visant à empêcher les moines bouddhistes de vivre des aumônes. Et, last but not least, il s'agissait d'essayer de débusquer et d'exécuter le personnel civil et militaire haut placé et autres qui n'avaient pas été pris dans le premier cycle d'exécution qui était intervenu juste après le 7 avril 1975. Toujours au sujet de cette réunion, à quelle date exactement s'est-elle déroulée Comme je l'ai dit, je ne suis pas sûr qu'il n'y ait eu qu'une réunion. Je pense qu'il y en a eu plusieurs, deux, trois ou quatre. In the latter part of May 1975, and maybe some that spilled over into the beginning of June 1975. Jusqu'au début de juin 1975. Question. You talked about the different policies. Vous avez évoqué différentes politiques. Is that based on your research? À la lumière de vos recherches. Are you aware that some Cham people were mistreated? Si des Cham ont subi de mauvais traitements sous ce régime? Yes, again, a process that began in certain ways before 17 April 75, and then intensified particularly from September October 1975, and even more so thereafter into 76, 77, and 78, becoming increasingly severe. Avec une intensification de ce phénomène. Question. Durant vos recherches, qu'avez-vous découvert sur le traitement des Chams et sur la pratique de leur religion Est-ce que ce traitement était lié à la religion Réponse. Some, again, starting as early as 1973. De 1973 déjà, je dirais qu'il y a eu ce que j'appellerais une manière de décourager, parfois de façon obligatoire, la pratique de la religion sans que ce soit une interdiction pure et simple. Parfois, les chambres ont été dispersées pour éviter toute concentration dans tel ou tel endroit. Prohibition in some areas again on jam holding certain kinds of positions of political authority. But the picture before '75 and even after, certainly through to the end of '75, and in some ways beyond, is rather mixed. A lot of the early policies that could be described as anti-Jam or at least anti-Islamic were actually carried out by cadres who were themselves Jam, and that continued to be significantly the case. I would say through the end of 1975, and. To a lesser extent, as late as the middle of 1978, depending on the location and depending on the issue. Question. 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 
ถ้าตาคาอนาวตคุณยุบใบนี่คือทุกอย่างเกี่ยวกับการใช้ implementation ของเราว่าการใช้ระดับผลกระทบต่อประชาชนหรือไม่ในขณะที่ประชาชนเสียชีวิตหรือไม่ในขณะที่ประชาชนเสียชีวิตหรือไม่ในขณะที่ประชาชนเสียชีวิตหรือไม่ในขณะที่ประชาชนเสียชีวิตหรือไม่ในขณะที่ประชาชนเสียชีวิตหรือไม่ในขณะที่ประชาชนเสียชีวิตหรือไม่ในขณะที่ประชาชนเสียชีวิตหรือไม่ในขณะที่ประชาชนเสียชีวิตหรือไม่ในขณะที่ประชาชนเสียชีวิตหรือไม่ในขณะที่ประชาชนเสียชีวิตหรือไม่ในขณะที่ประชาชนเสียชีวิตหรือไม่ใน President, witness, please await defense counsel for Kim Sampon. You may proceed. Congressman, thank you, Mr. President. I object to this question. J'ai une objection. This question leads to the personal analysis of this witness, and this witness is not here to analyze the fact. He is here as a witness, and he is not an expert witness. Thank you. Lagenti, Mr. President, allow me to clarify. What I want is that, as through the research that this witness conducted with the victims, either through interviews or their accounts of a suffering, and that's the what. We want from this witness and not his personal analysis. President, the objection is ground by counsel of Kyosun Pon. Is appropriate. That's sustained. Counsel for civil parties, you have to readjust your question. The witness is here as a witness, not as an expert. To reformulate his question, the testimony is not here as an expert. Lajunti, question: Through your interviews with refugees who fled to the Cambodia Thai border, qui se sont enfuis vers la frontière thaïlandaise, could you tell us the subjects of your interview? What kinds of people that you interviewed? Uh, I think the majority of them were relatively upper strata Khmer Republic military and administrative personnel from Western Cambodia, from locations in Western Cambodia. There were a, a few from further away. I think there were, there were some from Phnom Penh. Um, you may recall that in one of my earlier Days of testimony. I talked about a pass that was issued to an evacuee. I think that happened. That person had come from Phnom Penh, and the pass was issued somewhere near Prek Kadam on their way from Phnom Penh, ultimately to the to the Thai border. But those were few and far between among the people I talked to. I was only there for a. On the Thai border for a couple of weeks before I went to Laos. Dans un temps, je suis resté là seulement quelques semaines avant d'aller au Laos. Je suis resté peu de temps à la frontière. Question. Between 1975 to 1979, what have you learned from that regime? That is the regime of democratic Cambodia. Au sujet du régime du Cambodge démocratique. And at the international arena, what was the impression upon the regime of democratic Cambodia? Quelle impression le régime a-t-il donné? President, the witness, please wait. Defense counsel for Kiu Sampon, you may proceed. Consumon, thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Lawyer for civil parties, put two questions to this witness regarding his knowledge of what happened during the Democratic Cambodia regime from 1975 to 1979. This question is too broad for this witness to respond. And the 
council so mentioned specific points that he wanted to respond dans ces questions from this witness and second regarding the Deuxièmement, impressions by the international arena on what happened during the democratic Kampuchea regime sur l'impression would mean la communauté internationale au sujet du régime du Kampuchea démocratique to extract the opinion from this uh, witness Il est for that reason au de donner un avis. i object to this question c'est pourquoi je forme une objection what I want is for the witness to briefly describe de décrire the interest or the impression at the international arena during the democratic Kampuchea regime when it closed itself to the international community. President, Le President. this witness can the, this kind of question can be put to an expert but not de to questions que l'on peut poser à un expert mais non Rajanti. pas à un témoin maître like to put another question to Je this witness during the democratic cambodia regime there was a chain of a command from the upper echelon to the lower echelon could you describe the means of such communication De quelle façon fonctionnait la communication entre les échelons supérieurs et inférieurs um, Réponse. Well, to my, to my knowledge, à ma connaissance, um, there was telegraphic communication. Il y avait des communications par télégramme dans les deux sens, um, vers le haut et vers le bas. Il y avait des communications again, écrites à nouveau dans les deux sens. Um, there were interlocking Il y meetings. Avait that allowed or made at least made réunions. for the possibility that information uh, could go Permettant from the top to the bottom and the bottom de to the top. Du haut vers le bas in those instances, I, we're talking about oral communication, people on talking to one another. Aussi parlé de communication um, I think those were the three verbal, main means voilà, of je pense, communication, les telegrams, handwritten de or typed communications, les telegrams, les communications. mostly were C'était essentiellement ce qu'on appelait reports, des rapports um, and then the oral communication et that ensuite in les communications interlocking orales meeting. qui se déroulaient au cours de ces réunions. I have no further question for you and I'm grateful for your participer. response. And merci. Mr. President, I conclude my question. Merci pour vos réponses. Thank you. Monsieur le Président, merci. President, thank you, Le Président. Mr. Steve Merci, Heder. Monsieur Steve Heder. The chamber has another business to conduct. Uh, we need to hear the responses from various parties to the question of motion by Nunchia. For that reason, the remaining of this afternoon le reste de session will not be used to hear the testimony of the, the witness Steve Heder. And as the remaining time is uh, short, Comme il reste peu de temps, we would like to inform the witness Steve Heather that the hearing of your testimony is not yet concluded and we will postpone it and 
We will resume it tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Demain matin. For that reason, you are kindly invited to return to the call room at 9 a.m. De revenir demain matin à 9 heures. Officer, in collaboration with Wissou, please assist for the arrangement for the witness Steve Heder to return to his residence and have him return to the call room for his testimony at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. And yes, Mr. Steve Heder, you are now excused from the call room. Vous pouvez à présent vous retirer du prétoire. The chamber has received a request from Nunchi's defense to accept a new evidence by hearing the testimony of TCW. It a true. And as we inform the parties, we will give the opportunity to relevant parties, for example, the prosecution or the legal lawyers, to make their oral. Et les co-avocats principaux. Submission. Ces parties pourront présenter des observations orales. After the hearing of the witness Steve Heather, that is at the conclusion of the time allocation for the legal lawyers for civil parties, and for that reason, we would like to give the floor to the prosecution. That's why, at present, the floor is given to the prosecution. That's why, at present, the floor is given to the prosecution. That's why, at present, the floor is given to the prosecution. That's why, at present, the floor is given to the prosecution. That's why, at present, the floor is given to the prosecution. That's why, at present, the floor is given to the prosecution. That's why, at present, the floor is given to the prosecution. That's why, at present, the floor is given to the prosecution. That's why, at present, the floor is given to the prosecution. That's why, at present, the floor is given to the prosecution. That's why, at present, the floor is given to the prosecution. That's why, at present, the floor is given to the prosecution. That's why, at present, the floor is given to the prosecution. That's why, at present, the floor is given President, the prosecution, please wait. I notice that the defense counsel for Kiel Sampan is on the field. You may proceed. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Tout simplement, une demande de, de savoir comment vous souhaitez procéder, puisque uh, la défense de Kiosampan ne s'est pas prononcée encore sur la requête de l'équipe de défense de Nunchea que nous supportons. Et nous voulons savoir si vous préférez que nous, nous donnions nos arguments brièvement avant la réponse du bureau des coprocureurs et des parties civiles, si vous souhaitez que nous intervenions après. Demande de so, l'avis la, de la Chambre sur la manière de procéder. The president, if you have this specific request, then you may proceed. And in order to clarify on this motion and to make sure that other parties are also at the same pace, on this you may raise your request and observation. You may proceed. votre demande et vos observations. Well, I understand that you accept me making my observations right now. That's what I should understand. I see that Judge Lavergne acquiesces to that. I will be very lengthy because the principle we support entirely in the case of 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 the case euh, relatif notamment à, euh, euh, au fait de tout le et euh, la demande euh, d'audition euh, du témoin TCW882, si je ne m'abuse. Nous, euh, euh, encore une fois, euh, nous soutenons l'équipe de Nunchea sur sa demande. Et pourquoi nous la soutenons euh, Depuis le début, dans le cadre des audiences relatives, euh, aux documents Since, uh, et notamment aux vidéos, nous avons toujours indiqué que uh, le problème d'une vidéo lorsque nous n'avions pas l'intégralité uh, des interviews qui pouvait y avoir des coupes 
vous souviendrez la toute première audience de document sur euh, lorsqu'il y avait des questions de vidéo, des extraits euh, d'interview euh, de M. Kiosampan, nous nous étions posés au versement en preuve de ces vidéos en expliquant que lorsqu'il n'y avait qu'un extrait, on pouvait ne pas avoir le sens de l'intégralité de ce qui a été dit. Très clairement, dans le cas d'espèce, nous sommes dans ce cas de figure où vous avez des extraits vidéo qui sortis de leur contexte et sortis du contexte de euh, nombreuses heures de tournage ne permettent pas d'avoir l'ensemble du sens et de ce qui a été dit et dans ces conditions euh, le fait d'avoir le producteur réalisateur de euh, euh, ce film euh, qui puisse venir expliquer dans quelles conditions euh, ont été effectuées les coupes euh, de ce film, dans quelles conditions euh, le, les personnes interrogées ont pu euh, exprimer des choses supplémentaire, dans quelles conditions d'autres personnes interrogées ont pu apporter des éléments de preuve différents et en l'occurrence à décharge sont des éléments extrêmement importants. Euh, il va de soi que euh, l'email dont fait état à l'équipe de Nyon Chea est arrivé extrêmement récemment et que euh, de fait la défense ne pouvait pas s'en prévaloir auparavant. C'est un élément nouveau, un élément qui euh, permet d'avoir des éléments disculpatoires pour l'ensemble de la défense, puisqu'encore une fois nous sommes dans le cadre d'une une euh, procédure euh, avec une entreprise criminelle commune qui est visée. Donc, ce qui est disculpatoire, euh, en l'occurrence sur les faits évoqués dans ce film, l'est également pour euh, M. Kessampan. Et dans ces conditions, nous souscrivons entièrement et pleinement à la demande de l'équipe de Nunchea. Encore une fois, euh, c'est bien la preuve euh, de ce que nous avions indiqué depuis le départ, à savoir que parfois, quand nous avons des éléments documentaires hors contexte, nous n'avons pas l'ensemble des éléments. Aujourd'hui, nous nous avons la possibilité d'avoir des éléments complémentaires et il va de soi que pour une bonne justice et pour une bonne équité du procès, il convient que l'on puisse avoir ces éléments dans le cadre des débats devant cette Chambre. Le Président, merci. Je voudrais maintenant donner la parole au coprocureur to respond to the qui va répondre request by the defense team. aux propos et à la requête de l'équipe de la Défense. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, And Président. On behalf of the co au nom des coprocureurs, permettez-moi de dire en premier that, lieu que for clarity, there are in fact three Aspects to this application. One is for an email to be admitted into evidence. The second is for the chamber to conduct an investigation pursuant to Rule 93. And a third, in fact, is the one that my friend just addressed, which relates to the summoning of an individual who whose pseudonym we understand to be TCW382. So I will refer to that individual uh, throughout my submissions as TCW382. This is the individual whose email, of course, we received last week. Also relevant is TCW720, which is the other individual involved more directly in the preparation of, of the videos that have been referred to. And before I give our response, can I indicate, Your Honours, that yesterday afternoon we forwarded to Your Honours through the legal offices and also to the defence and other parties nine files, which are essentially copies of publicly available interviews with the gentleman to whom this request pertains. In summary, before I address the request in more detail, the prosecution opposes Two of the three requests, in particular, we oppose the request that the email be admitted into evidence, and we also oppose the request that the individual, that is TCW382, be summoned to give evidence. We agree in part with the third request, uh, albeit in a modified form, and I will come to that 
in a few moments. By way of an introduction, let me say, Your Honours, that perhaps like you, we were somewhat surprised Nous avons été to see this de apparently unsolicited communication from an individual who has uh, in the past refused to cooperate with this court when asked to provide materials that he had made available in the public domain. Qui était so it is somewhat puzzling as dans to public. the motivations On donc se poser behind des quant aux this request. Also noting that instead of following perhaps a more appropriate channel of directing information to the court, if he feels he has information that may assist, he does so by contacting one of the council. It is our submission that this individual has little, if anything, to offer as a witness, let alone expert in this trial. And it is pertinent to look at what involvement he has had in collecting information that this request pertains to and what his general qualifications and experience are. Dans en jeu, et sont ses this is a, an individual who is a talented filmmaker, est one might say, uh, but is certainly no expert uh, in Khmer Rouge history or in CPK authority structure and policies. If you look at documents seven and six that we that we forwarded, uh, without going into them in any great detail, uh, they, they, they show that his background was first as a musician and then as someone making general documentaries for television, covering a, a wide variety of topics. He's currently working, in fact, on two documentaries that are entirely unrelated, it appears, to Cambodia. He has no professional qualifications that we know of that relate to the history of Cambodia or the Khmer Rouge movement. Again, as best as we can tell, he has conducted no scholarly research into Khmer Rouge history or policies. He has done no field work whatsoever beyond the work that is in fact led by TCW 720. Le travail mené par TCW and it appears from the materials that are available in the public domain is that he holds certain rather naive views about the state of research and material available in the Khmer Rouge. If I can take your honours to just one example that illustrates this well. In document number one, on the first page, this is a Radio Prague interview. He is asked, what has TCW 720 achieved with this quest of his? Response quote, well, he has achieved a much greater understanding and amount of information about the Khmer Rouge regime than has ever been gathered before. This gentleman is apparently unaware of hundreds of statements that have been given by various leaders of Democratic Kampuchea and Khmer Rouge cadre of the extensive research that has, that has been done over decades by people such as Steve Hedder, David Hawke, David Chandler, Ben Kiernan, Michael Vickery, Philip Short and others. He thinks he's gathered more information that has ever been gathered before. I'm not sure if I can speak on behalf of this group, but it would appear to me that um, their combined experience of well over 100 years of research into the Khmer Rouge de recherche Might perhaps negate that combinée, point. si vous voulez, sur les Khmer Rouge pourrait uh, mettre à mal le propos tenu par ces personnes. There are also misrepresentations in this gentleman's 
email which go both to his credibility and to the way in which you should view the evidence in the form of the email or the purported evidence that the defence is putting forward. At paragraph 2 of E294, you have the text of the email where the gentleman suggests the following in relation to Nguyen Chia. Quote, he did not agree that top one null officers had been killed. What he said was that half a dozen one null cabinet and top officials had been put through revolutionary due process and condemned to death by a military tribunal, which from memory, Nguyen Chia was not part of. That is an allegation in relation to what Nguyen Chia says in the DVD. On the DVD itself, in the part called One Day at Poitray, and this is document E186.1R, at 22 minutes, the following exchange takes place. TCW 720 interviewing Nguyen Chia. Quote, Uncle, what were the political orders for the top four or five leaders of the previous regime? Nguyen Chia. They were to be liquidated. They deserved the severest penalty. They betrayed the nation to foreigners. You juxtapose those two passages, Your Honours, and what you see is that TCW 382 apparently has a view of the facts that are even more exculpatory than Nguyen Chia himself, without even going into his motives in sending this communication, he is clearly wrong about his own DVD. Now, moving on to the extent of the gentleman's research, and this addresses my friend's arguments in relation to him being called as a fact witness or an expert, the documents we have sent through illustrate that, in fact, he is at best a fellow traveler and a documentary maker while someone else is leading a project to collect information. Documents number five and six contain statements by TCW 382 indicating that he only came to Cambodia in 2006 with a plan to do a film, as he says, and it was at that point that he met TCW 720, who had already done six or seven years of work. So he, at that point, joined the project, but having joined it, he, of course, was not present for the most important interviews. And this goes to the heart of our friend's application. If you look at file number one, and again, I referred to this earlier, this is the Radio Prague interview. It is clear from this gentleman's own admissions or statements that he had very little to do with key interviews. And, he, and I will read this because it is significant in our submission. Question. TCW72's method is over many years to build up the trust of these people. Did the presence of your cameras impede these interviews at all? Answer, no. By and large, the exclusive and extremely secret revelations that take place in the film are done by him alone. A little bit further down, but for the very secret things with Nguyen Chia, and also there is a scene in the film where Nguyen Chia meets two killers, and they all discuss why they all were involved in such killing, this is the kind of thing that really only TCW 720, a Cambodian that is trusted by these people, could do. So by his own information, Your Honours, this individual was not present, contrary to Nguyen Chia's 
submissions in the most important and most relevant of interviews. As for his knowledge of tall portrait, the video itself says at 48 seconds that it was TCW 720 that had investigated the massacre for many years and identified people whom he was able to interview in relation to that massacre. So certainly, Your Honours, this individual neither has the expertise nor factual knowledge in our submission that would warrant him being called to describe for you what people have had to say. There are other reasons why we have certain reservations or concerns about the court's ability to obtain any information from this, from this individual, and it has to do again with statements that he has made in the past. If you look at document number two at page one, The individual makes it clear that he views these proceedings as, is, as incompatible with a truth and reconciliation process of which his film is a variant. And he says, the question then becomes to, do you want truth or justice? You can't have both. I'll leave the ridiculousness of that proposition to everyone else to judge for themselves. But furthermore, in document number three, an interview with the independent newspaper at page one, the the TCW 382 confirms that the information that TCW 720 obtained was obtained on the condition that it not be used against Nuanchir. And he says, in relation to the interviewees, and I quote, they engage in a process with you, and you must stick to that promise. As a result of not bowing to the court, we are now seen as an independent party in Cambodia, and more Khmer Rouge people are willing, are, are talking to us, and they will not talk to the court. TCW 720 confirms that position in document number four, which is a CNN article, where he says at page two, if I, quote, if I give this kind of stuff to the court, it means that I betray Nguyen Chia and I betray the killers. So, Your Honours, we have indeed great doubts as to the willingness of these individuals to provide any information that you may seek. And that brings me to a summary of our position and my conclusion. First, in relation to the email, we oppose its admission. It is not suitable to prove the fact that it purports to prove. It is a, it is a statement of what an individual says Nguyen Chia says. Nguyen Chia is in this court and can speak for himself. And I've just demonstrated for your honours that this individual's interpretation of Nguyen Chia's words is unreliable. Also, it would be entirely improper to admit an email from, that says what somebody else says if that same individual is unwilling to provide the raw material or the video footage that apparently contains or may contain other statements of interest. So the email is, a, is not reliable. It is not suitable to prove the facts it purports to prove. And it should therefore not be admitted. It is, it is of no evidential value whatsoever.
as to the summoning of the individual, for the reasons that I've stated, we oppose that application. He has no knowledge of relevant facts. You cannot compare this individual to people like Steve Hedder or Francois Ponchot or Philip Short, whether, be, whether they be viewed as fact witnesses or experts. These are people who have conducted years of original research. Ponchot and Hedder, in fact, are witnesses of fact during the democratic Campuchia period. But what's more, all of these individuals have willingly provided material to the court, and it is on the basis of that material that they were called to testify. He is certainly no expert, and I think that requires no further elaboration. Now, as to the third aspect enfin, of the application in relation to making inquiries, uh, let me say that we will always support the Nuanchia team as Nous we will always support the Kusan Pan team in reasonable Kyo requests to obtain information that on its face appears to be probative and relevant or to have any exculpatory, potentially exculpatory value for them. So we do not oppose a request for information being sent to this individual and to TCW 720, whereby in our respectful submission, they should be requested not to provide comment, not pro to provide interpretation of what people said, but rather to provide the material that is in their possession. If they have written statements or if they have raw video footage that in any way relates to the matters before Your Honours, then we do not oppose, obviously, we do not oppose Your Honours obtaining that material. But I do return to my reservations that I expressed earlier. It is quite likely, in our opinion, looking at the facts, that your request for information, which is what we suggest that it should be, will be met either with a refusal or with silence, as was the case with the co-investigating judges. I should state for the record, for, for, for clarity, that the request should be for raw footage, not for selective cutting of material, and in our respectful submission, it should also be for the manuscript which led to the writing of the books of the book E152.2. Once that material is received, if it is received, we would submit that Your Honours could make arrangements for it to be confidentially provided to the parties, thereby addressing any commercial concerns that the owners of the material may have in relation to their financial interests, and then the parties can be invited to make submissions as to whether that material should be admitted, and secondly, whether anyone identified in that material should be called as a witness. But I do return to our reservations. Given the stage of the proceedings we're in, given this individual's prior refusal to cooperate with the court, we would encourage Your Honours to deal with this matter quickly. We have the individual's email address. He appears to be perfectly capable of communicating when he feels like it. Your Honours should communicate an urgent request for, for information and proceed from there. If he is unwilling to provide the information or if he fails to provide it within a short period of time, then Your Honours should dismiss the request because on his face, E294 does not describe any evidence as it stands that Your Honours could admit in these proceedings. Those are our solutions. The President. Thank you, Mr. Prosecutor. About the lead co-lawyer for the civil party, do you have any observation or response? Counsel Pichong, thank you, Mr. President. Merci, and good afternoon, Mr. President. Mr. President, and your honors, Et and all parties. I do not have much to uh, observe on this particular application, but a few days back, uh, Madame Simono Ford uh, made uh, it clear concerning our uh, position with regard to this matter. And and as per the content of the email uh, by this particular um, witness, uh, he mentioned uh, two things. Uh, one, he said uh, he described things that uh, Mr. Nguyen Chia 
uh, mentioned il in the video décrit, and second uh, he uh, talked about the uh, evidence uh, of the video that he has uh, produced. Uh, what we would like to submit to the chamber is that uh, this person is not an expert. One, he uh, elaborate on any content, whether or not it was uh, true or not. I believe that uh, it is not uh, appropriate, and I believe that uh, the majority of what he said uh, should not be admitted as uh, evidence, and I believe that he is now uh, trying to uh, have the court believe that he is an expert, and I, uh, in part of his uh, email, uh, he uh, mentioned uh, that uh, he was acting uh, like an expert, so I joined with the co-prosecutor uh, that this uh, email uh, not admitted uh, to the evidence, and I would like to cede the floor to my international colleague uh, to add further to this point. Uh, the President, thank you, and lead co-lawyer, international lead co-lawyer, Oui, rapidement, Monsieur le Président, pour compléter Very ce qui a briefly, été dit à la Mr. fois President, par uh, Monsieur le Co-Procureur et puis mon confrère uh, ou avocat principal, je voudrais simplement ajouter que, uh, d'un point de vue like purement juridique, si j'ai bien compris uh, comment est apparue cette requête, view, il y a une demande principale emerged, qui est faite par notre confrère, qui est d'accepter au débat une preuve nouvelle, un mail reçu de Monsieur Rob Lemkin. Ça, c'est la demande principale fondé sur 87.4 et 87.3. Et puis, il y a deux demandes subséquentes qui viennent de cette demande principale, qui sont maintenant d'entendre ce monsieur comme témoin ou comme expert, première demande subséquente, deuxième demande subséquente, faire des investigations, article 93. Alors, Moi, je m'arrêterai à la demande principale. Et je pense que si la demande principale n'est pas admissible, eh bien, les deux demandes subséquentes ne le sont pas davantage. Et en ce qui concerne la demande principale, il serait donc d'accepter ce mail comme une preuve. Je pense que si vous appliquez la règle 87.3, il est clair que ce mail est dénué de pertinence et qu'il est insusceptible de prouver ce qu'il entend établir. Je note que M. Rob Lemkin, dans son mail, ne s'appuie même pas sur ce qui a été dit à cette audience. Il s'appuie sur ce qu'il a lu dans le Phnom Penh Post. C'est dire combien sa réflexion est fondée sur des choses très lointaines par rapport à ce qui se passe dans ce, ce prétoire. Et par ailleurs, si M. Roblenkin estimait effectivement que ce que dit M. Nunchea dans ce DVD en Khmer, pendant qu'il est filmé, n'est pas ce que M. Nunchea a dit, il me semble que la moindre des choses pour apporter un peu de solidité à son mail, c'était éventuellement de viser d'autres propos de M. Nunchea dans, dans, dans ce film. Uh, ou bien dans les footage, je ne sais pas comment on traduit ça en français. Monsieur Roblemkin ne fait pas du tout ça. Mr. Il Rob se contente d'évoquer vaguement ce que le Phnom Penh Post a dit. Donc je dis que cette première demande n'est pas du tout euh, sérieuse, que ce mail n'est pas sérieux et que vous ne pouvez pas, si vous appliquez sérieusement les règles qui s'imposent ici, considérer qu'il qu a une quelconque pertinence et qu'il est susceptible de prouver ce qu'il no prétend établir. Donc je vous demande de rejeter cette première demande. Uh, ce faisant, je pense que si vous rejetez cette première demande, vous devriez rejeter les deux autres demandes qui n'en sont que la conséquence. Bien sûr, nous soutenons ce qu'a dit M. le Monsieur Rob Lemkin n'est ni un témoin, ni un expert dans ce dossier, c'est tout à fait clair. Et je crois que les pièces qui ont été apportées par Monsieur le procureur le démontrent. Et le caractère très vague du mail de ce monsieur le démontre aussi, si c'était nécessaire. Et je note que la demande d'investigation supplémentaire qui vous est faite aujourd'hui, qui à mon sens doit être rejetée, est une demande subséquente n'a jamais été proposée par la Défense auparavant. Elle n'est uniquement sur la base du mail de ce monsieur. Pourtant, si M. Nunchea, lui, 
estime depuis un an et demi que les extraits vidéo de ce DVD qui sont produits à l'audience ne sont pas ce qu'il a dit. Je m'étonne que la défense de Nunchea ne vous ait pas fait cette demande, article 93, depuis 18 mois. Je note que cette demande intervient aujourd'hui uniquement sur la base de ce mail dont je continue de dire qu'il est complètement farfelu, dénué de pertinence et insusceptible d'établir ce qu'il entend démontrer. En ce qui nous concerne, nous demandons le rejet des trois demandes. La la première principale et les deux suivantes qui sont subséquentes et qui ne sont pas fondées. Merci. Which have no substance. Thank you. Thank you. Le président. And the chamber will assist Merci. The parties. Merci aux partis pour leurs observations. I that je constate the que le maître Coupé s'est levé, je vous en prie. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Merci, Monsieur le Président. Question. Uh, Une question de procédure. Suis-je autorisé à répliquer à ces observations Souhaitez-vous que je le fasse plus tôt demain matin, vu uh, l'heure so really J'entends like tellement to, de to choses reply. absurdes que j'aimerais vraiment Sorry, uh, répliquer. Right, Excusez-moi, madame myself. la juge Coitright, mais c'est plus fort que moi. President. Le président. The chamber will allow the defense counsel to respond. This is an exceptional case. La défense it is not a common sera practice. autorisée à répliquer à titre exceptionnel. But in this instance, uh, you uh, granted uh, an opportunity to respond. L'occasion vous est uh, donnée de brief. répliquer. Je vous en prie, soyez concis. Uh, just make it a five uh, response. Vous disposez Thank de you. cinq minutes. Thank La you very much, Mr. Merci President. I will make it very Monsieur short. le Président, je serai très bref. Um, just, Mr. President, to allow me to go back quickly to this, um, brièvement Tuesday that we received this evening. revenir à cette journée de mardi If lorsque nous me, avons I reçu ce courriel. Just, um, call Him by his name, Je vais citer cette personne nommément, puisque l'avocat de la partie civile l'a fait cinq fois. Monsieur Rob Lemkin avait lu un article du Phnom Penh Post, lequel ne décrivait peut-être pas fidèlement les événements qui avaient eu lieu la veille. Il avait l'intention de nous faire savoir que d'après sa lecture de l'article, il semblait que les choses n'étaient uh, pas conformes à ce qu'il savait et aux informations qu'il avait sur ce film. Expert, il ne s'est pas uh, présenté comme un expert. Be, uh, il a juste um, essayé uh, de rectifier uh, certaines choses qui s'étaient produites à l'audience. Um, Une fois de plus, Mr. Rob Lemkin il faut bien comprendre que M. Rob Lemkin um, indirectly involved in, in this une movie that we have that we are speaking about he is and one can film. read that um, at, at the various websites and everywhere on else he is the co-director and the co-producer of this film, co this film, film which uh, and i'm sure of course you are aware of this uh, savez, has been uh, excerpts of this film has been shown over and over uh, during the key documents presentations of the prosecution so in de la présentation des documents clés de l'accusation. Selon l'accusation, donc, ce film est très important pour la manifestation de la vérité. Il s'agit d'un élément de preuve essentiel par rapport à Nuanchea. 
excerpts as well uh, one of these interviews it seems de ces that, uh, he and the other co-producer co-director of this film are in the possession of uh, about 160 uh, hours of video footage and about 1000 hours of audio uh, footage et d'environ um, 1000 heures he to say is that de bande sonore. Apparemment, cette personne of this dit qu'une toute petite partie de ces films, images um, that ont été sélectionnées et montées et que cela have, uh, ne reflète nullement uh, les déroulements in, in the north -west zone in des événements de la zone uh, du nord-ouest pour le so mois d'avril 1975. I have footage donc ceci, uh, clearly indicating rushs, that uh, il the actions in the Northwest are uh, the design, are the local design of the le then produit de décision prise uh, the North Zone uh, Chief Ross So uh, rather than le chef de la zone focusing question, on the first two or three paragraphs plutôt of que de se concentrer email. sur les uh, premiers the last paragraphes du courriel, il faudrait examiner le dernier paragraphe qui est bien plus I important. Have well last week. Je l'ai dit aussi uh, here it says, la semaine I'll passée. Just it again. Of je vais à nouveau you know citer it, ce courriel, même si vous en êtes déjà informé, je uh, le fais pour le public. Says, By the way, Lemkin, regarding Portrait, portrait this was a massacre ordered by Ross Nim, not Central Command. We have a mass of wealth of evidence about Nim's agenda, but having so far unable Concernant les dessins de Nîmes, mais jusqu'ici, nous n'avons pas Now, pu chercher mass, notre deuxième uh, film. De toute that, évidence, uh, lorsqu'il parle the hours of de ces preuves abondantes, il parle to. de ces nombreuses heures de rush. Um, dont je viens de faire état. Le qui est maintenant being uh, applied to according to the prosecution is a standard that we haven't heard so far. Le there might be questions ici, uh, of the probative nous, value of dit. this particular email, but the Il standards uh, sur are la now de ce courriel, uh, mais applied in a completely different manner when it comes to admitting this email. De façon um, there are dozens of, uh, of, of, of evidence where it is unclear de how this evidence came about, whether, it was in, whether this, this evidence was in fact on ne sait pas um, bien uh, Si ces pièces saying what, he, what, 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 what this particular witness or expert knew or whether he was uh, 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 giving conclusions. So we're témoin, on all of a sudden changing uh, uh, the, 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 the goalposts when it comes to the admittance standard. Most importantly, and, uh, that is actually my, my, my main argument, we have to realize, realize that um, Rob Lemkin approached us uh, uh, Lemkin est entré en contact avec nous en he envoyant ce courriel. Uh, did not have a problem in forwarding uh, or, or presenting himself uh, and giving this information. de problème de se manifester en this is how I understand this email that uh, the problem of not earlier uh, giving this information at the request of the investigating si judges was that there seemed to be some sort of agreement with Mnuchin that he was not uh, uh, giving this footage uh, to uh, the uh, uh, tribunal. Uh, 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 Ces rushs ne seraient pas uh, the, uh, communiqués uh, the, the au tribunal. Now we have a different situation. Apparemment, now that he has information which might Rob be exculpatory for Nguyen Chia. And if Nguyen Chia doesn't have a problem, if si our client doesn't have a problem, ne voit if uh, uh, Lemkin and his co-producer will provide this additional footage, then there is uh, rush, no reason anymore, it seems, il a for uh, Lemkin and his co-producer to actually provide that footage. Personne. We have a different situation than in 2011, where it seems that both À l'époque, apparemment, les deux coproducteurs uh, avaient refusé de remettre ces rushs suite à la conclusion de Mais désormais, la situation uh, a changé. La personne, à présent, ces gens disent avoir d'importants pièces à décharge. No si notre client uh, dit qu'il ne voit aucun inconvénient uh, footage, à ce que ces personnes uh, communiquent ces uh, rushs uh, et ces informations uh, of course, au tribunal, à ce moment-là, il n'y a plus aucun problème. La façon find out la plus if, uh, if the chamber simply asks him ce serait uh, que la chambre interroge to provide you with this uh, additional footage now of course we are all aware of the fact si that this proceedings are coming to an end and uh, uh, we realize that, um, uh, that that is the case but that doesn't change the fact that at the last moment it seems there is now uh, au dernier moment apparemment uh, there are now indications 
of the existence of very important exculpatory evidence. And just because of the fact that we are now in the end phase of this proceeding doesn't, doesn't mean we should not take this very seriously. It's maybe even quite rare in cases like this that at the last moment uh, Il a producer such as Lenkin is offering genre, uh, the tribunal uh, to give exculpatory evidence. But that's, this is the case, this is the situation right now. And, um, cela est certes rare, mais la of course, I don't have to remind you, but maybe uh, I, I would have to remind the prosecution about this. Le rappeler, One of the, the, leading, uh, the leading principles of this, uh, this, this tribunal, of this court, is the ascertainment of the truth. We are looking for the truth. And here we have somebody who is claiming that he has seen hours and hours of footage, uh, 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 consisting of very important material directly in relation to the very facts that the chamber is adjudicating. He, uh, his film is about to portray. Son film you have decided uh, 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 in your wisdom to add to portray as a, as a crime site uh, 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 in addition to the force transfer. Uh, the film is obviously uh, important because it's been shown over and over. And now the very director, the very producer of the film is saying, wait, something is uh, not going well. We have additional footage saying something completely different that is the the completely uh, different. Trade, then of course there's only one thing, donc, Mr. President, to honest, that you can do is faire, make sure that this material uh, 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 is available for all parties and for you to make at the end of the day a proper judgment in respect of especially the, the, effect, uh, the facts of the correctement concerning the facts relative to the portrait. President, Judge Sylvia Cartwright, uh, please take the floor. Thank you. La juge Cartwright. Thank you, President. Uh, Mr. Corpi, you yeah, indicated that um, this, uh, this uh, producer is Vous offering to assist the chamber. Is this uh, your understanding? It's not apparent from the email, and it seems to contradict the experience that the co-investigating judges have. Can you uh, briefly comment on that, please? Faire un bref commentaire à ce sujet. Maître Coppel, c'est ainsi que j'ai compris son courriel. He knows we are the defense counsel for Luchia. He is apparently following the trial. He knows his film is the subject of an important debate. A fait l'objet d'un important débat. As I understand from uh, also speaking to, um, Je me suis to our client is that there was, a, client there was an agreement between our client and the co-producer uh, uh, not film. to give the material um, to, a, uh, to the tribunal. Les images ne seraient pas communiquées au tribunal. Cet accord avait été conclu 2007. avant 2007. Um, Apparently, uh, one, one can say that uh, both of them have violated this agreement because they have les made the film. Parties, that's not a, that's not a matter of discussion. But from the same token of reasoning, from the same rationale, uh, we can say now that if logique, our client is saying, I have no problem anymore, if you si notre provide the footage uh, to the, the chamber, then I can only ex uh, interpret Alors, the email together with uh, what our client is saying is that he is now willing to uh, offer uh, all his assistance uh, Je to les interprète comme voulant dire que cette personne est prête à aider la chambre. Yes, and uh, what about the witness's journalistic ethics that he repeatedly uh, referred to? Um, Qu'en est-il? Uh, Mr. Corby. De la déontologie de journalistes de cette personne à laquelle il fait référence. This is something, of course, to be respected. That as every journalist, uh, he is protecting his sources. Cela est respectable, um, comme tout journaliste. A journalist, uh, il when asked what are your sources, how did you get your information, will always uh, invoke his right. Il invoque um, it is Article 10 of the European Convention of Human Rights, uh, protecting his sources la protection in, des sources, in, in respect article 10 of de la Convention um, européenne des droits de freedom of speech. Ceci est lié à la liberté uh, now, if the very source uh, is saying, I have si no problem if you um, provide this information, un, then, of course, uh, uh, it is divulgué. my understanding that the journalist himself cannot properly invoke anymore and, and will not do so. Plus, uh, uh, his right to protect his sources. Son droit à protéger ses sources. Just stay on your feet, Mr. Corpi. Um, 
And what about the other subjects who are in the um, uh, movie other than your client Nguyen Chia? Have they uh, waived any rights? Dans le film, hormis votre Or are you just assuming that that will be the case? That might be the case, but I don't know. Um, that Réponse, is, of course, up to Mr. Lampin to answer the question. I don't know. It's to Lampin to see. President, thank you for all the uh, comments and uh, submissions. Thank you for all the comments pro and against the submission made by Nguyen Chi's defense. And after having heard both sides submissions and responses to the submission made by Nguyen Chi's defense, that is document A294, de la défense de l'ONCHEA, document E-294. The chamber will examine the issue la chambre and to make the decision in examinera la question course. et se prononcera en temps opportun. The time is appropriate for Le the adjournment for today's proceeding. We will adjourn now and we will resume it tomorrow morning. Les reprendront yeah, this demain Tuesday, matin. The 16th. Le mardi 16 and tomorrow we will continue to hear the testimony of Mr. Steve Heder, who will be questioned by the defense uh, groups. This information is for the parties, the support staff, and the general public. Security guards are instructed to take the true accused, that is, Kyus and Kwon and Nguyen Chi, back to the detention facility and have them return to the court room tomorrow morning prior to 9 a.m. As for Nguyen Chia, bring him to the holding cell downstairs, which is equipped with the audiovisual means for him to remotely follow the proceeding. The court is now adjourned.